six. Six feet? I would say that's a little taller than that. What do you think of it? Fifteen. That's about exactly at fifteen feet, and it is beautiful, and we had yes. No, I think 15 is just about it, but 16, 15, 16 feet. This tree, I want you to know this tree was picked by one of our people in this studio. His name is Rod Allen, and he bought it back from Wyoming. He carried it all the way. <laughs> but he did go out and pick that tree, and I've been all around this tree, and it is simply beautiful. Now tell me, would you turn right around there? Let me take a little talk to you right now and tell us what your name is. Yeah, now, do you like trees? Yeah. Did you ever go out and pick a tree? Well, I know I never picked them. You never picked one? Would you like to do that? Pick apple trees, yeah, like I mean, to pick do, I mean, do you put up a Christmas tree? Have you ever done that? Yes, it is ours. Oh, but wait, is it fun for you? Yeah. Well, I would think it would be fun. I used to have a great time doing it here. Now we're going around the set, and you can see all the garland that has been put on there. All these things, and they put packages over here, Beeper. Did you see that? Look how nice that looks. All those beautiful pictures there. All that put up here. And we got a few cards. We didn't put all the cards we have up here. But would you back up here just a little bit? This is the first card that came in, and it came from Christopher Lyle, L-I-S-L-E. And I haven't got exactly where Christopher is from, but he knows his name. That's the first card that came in today. And hanging right above us, go ho! And he's not in. You know, did you notice? Did you notice that Santa Claus is not in his sleigh there? Now you know why. Why? Why? Let me let me come over here. Get the why? Why wouldn't Santa Claus be in his sleigh? Because he parked it. He what? He parked it. Well, that's a pretty good thing. He parked it, but that's not exactly it. Would you? Why isn't Santa Claus up there in his sleigh? Uh. Right at this moment. You don't know? Do you know, you think? He's lost. He's, no, he's lost? What is your name? Allison. Allison what? Witching. Uh-huh. And yours? Edmund Ross Witching. Well, now, the re you, what, what's your name? Michelle Graham. Now, why would, not Michelle, why wouldn't Santa Claus be in his sleigh right this moment? Because he doesn't want us to see it up, because he doesn't want us to see him, and he's also not real. That's, a, that's one of the things there. Oh, he's real. He has to be real or wouldn't be around all this time. What do you think? What's your name? Nadia Graham. He, he, it isn't Christmas, so he can't be in his sleigh yet. Why? Now, you're getting close. You're getting close. Wait a minute. Well, you're getting close. Why? What's he doing? He's making the presents. Of course he's getting busy and making all the presents. So everybody look right out there now and take a deep breath. Come on, take a big breath. One more deep breath. Now, I'm going to say one, two, three, go. And when I say that, I want you to say, roll it as loud as you can. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Very good. Z. And now it is time for a riddle guessing contest. Now you must close your eyes and you must put your hands on your knees. Okay, sit right down there, my boy, my God, that boy. And put your hands on your knees. That's it. And I'm going to say real loud, who wants it? And whoever gets their hand up in the air is going to be a riddle guesser. Get ready. But you've got to close your eyes. No baby blue, black, brown, green, or gray showing. Here we go. Who wants it? Oh, well, you've got your hand up. So come on down. All righty. Here we go again now. Get ready. Who wants it? Oh, right back here. You come on up here. Let me help you with you. Let me give you a hand. That's it. Just take your time. We don't have to hurry. We have one more riddle to go now. Here we go. Get set. Hands on your knees. 
<clears throat> I, I was just clearing my throat that time. I'm sorry. I mean, I shouldn't have done that. But who wants it there? Oh, right back there. A big man back there. Okay. Step right up here because we are going to have other games. I would like you to take this microphone. Look right out there and tell them your name, how old you are, and uh, what you're going to be when you grow up. Oh, oh yeah, let's look right out there and do that. Please. Gary Huffman, I'm nine, and I want to be a policeman. Fine, okay, pass that microphone right on down. And your name? Nadia Graham, and I'm nine, and I want to be a writer. A writer? Oh, that's going to be great. And? You are shredding, and I'm ten years old, and um, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. You want to be an astronaut, a policeman, a writer, and an astronaut. That's going to be good. But right now, if you miss this riddle and you take this, you're the first one, you're going to be green. Oh, God. You're going to be greener than that. You're going to be Kermit or Kermit, and you may be Kermetta. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm reaching into my pocket. I got and it. I have a riddle, the real McCoy. What is this? This riddle came to us right from Huntington. Right here in Huntington, the name of that person is Hillary Richardson. Hillary, we thank you so much for sending in this riddle. And remember, children, we always need riddles. If you have riddles, send in a whole bunch of them, because we can always use them. So, here we go. And by the way, if you send in your riddle, we're going to mention your name on the air, of course, just like we mentioned. Hillary, your turn. I'm going to give you your choice of one, two, or three riddle. Which one do you want? One. you got to talk into the microphone. One. Number one riddle says, where, you know what an otter is? It's an animal. You know, and they swim. Yeah. Where do otters come from? You're a Kermit the Frog. Otters come from otter space. They're coming again after us. Look out. I mean, you got to watch out for that. You're Ker Oh, we may get a Kermetta here. Are you ready now? I oh, you look lovely. You just look lovely. And I hope you'll do well. Two or three? Uh, two. The second one says, who? Oh, this is a great, folks, this is a great riddle. Who was the most brilliant pig in the world? You don't know? No, you can't tell. I don't know. The most brilliant pig in the world was Einswein. <laughs> Bye. You're Coretta. Watch him. We want him to get out of here quick so they don't get us, you know. You're Coretta. Your turn, buddy. I hope you get this right, but you've got to take this one because it's the only one left. Why do bees hum? Oh, the reason bees hum is because they don't know the words. Well, they laughed at that when I look at How about a little applause for those guys right there? John, thank you very much. John Ray back there. Okay. I want to talk to you. Come right over here. I'm going to put this, I'm going to take this microphone, I'm going to hand it to this young man right there, and I'm going to get you in a huddle right here. You're going to get in the up in front. You ready now? I want you two to, oh, excuse me, I want you two to turn out that way. And now, now the last one back to their seat is a big fat egg. Oh! The last one back to their seat, hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry. Hi, big fat egg. Okay, got him. Everybody take a deep breath. One more deep breath. Another one. I want to hear the loudest roll that I've ever heard. One, two, three, go. Oh, they're warming up now. Like, 
Uh, well, first of all, we want to welcome all you cartooners back. We are having a ball here. Lots of cookies, lots of soft drinks, you know, lots of... Yeah, I noticed that. Boy, you do eat your share, don't you? Oh, ho, ho, not as big as that yet, I'll tell you. We're going to have a little fun with them. We're going to see how much they know about Christmas on the trivial type things. And I want you to give me your name loud and clear. And I want you to tell me what your daddy or your mother does here, okay? Let me hear that now. Billy Galloway, my dad is an engineer. You are Dr. Video's son. Well, I'm going to ask you a question. Tell me something that you know about Christmas. Tell me something you know. What? Tell me something that's happened at not the North Pole. Tell me something about that. Just name one thing. Oh, you get toys. Toys. All right. That one's gone. What is your name? Matthew. Matthew what? Matthew Phil. And what does your daddy do here? He works. He works. Some people would argue with you on that. I mean, I'm just kidding. And what do you think is up at the North Pole besides toys? I bet you play with them. You play with the toys, yes. But what else is up there? You know anything else up there? Mrs. Santa Claus. Mrs. Santa Claus is up there. Very good. And your name? Jimmy Galloway. Uh-huh. Is this your brother? Of course. And you two, how old are you? I'm so, I mean, I... He's older than you are. But you two get along good all the time, don't you? No. <laughs> Dr. V? <laughs> what else is up at the North Pole? Um, reindeer. Reindeer. Coming right on down. We're moving right on down here. Oh, tell everybody your name. Chris Agin. Yes. And how old are you? Mm, seven. You know anything at the North Pole? You can't name the same thing now. No. No. Um, Jeremy Huffman. Yeah, and how old are you? Nine. What is up at the North Pole? Um, Santa Claus. Well, we had that. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you, that's right. You got it right. Okay, you got Santa Claus. Good, look out there so they can see you. Ha, 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 ha. Tell everybody your name. Neil Schmetting. Yes, and how old are you? You're ten? Yes. And you guessed a riddle there. Oh, you missed it, actually. Yeah. Well, you won't miss this, though. Can you name something else up the North Pole? The North Pole. Yes, the North Pole. It's a geographical location. Coming down in front here. Got some children right here. That's right, Deeper. Come right along. What is your name? Josh. Josh what? Josh Ray Rivers Irish. And how old are you, Joshua? Five years. Let me ask you. I'm going to change the question. What do you like about Christmas the most? The reindeer? Oh, that's good. Let me walk over here. What is your name? Stephen Craig. And how old are you? Six. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Mm, toys. Toys? Tell everybody real loud now. Lisa Craig. Uh-huh. Oh, now I remember you and your favorite thing. Uh, about Christmas. Giving. Giving. Yep. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Giving. A little applause for this young lady. That is very good. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear it yet. They're all, they just got out of the home, folks. I mean, they're, they're just having a hard time there. Your name? Ashley McNair. That's the way to talk. And how old are you? Seven. And you have a favorite thing at Christmas? Um... Mm -mm. No, you, do, you just like the whole thing, is that it? It's sitting on the Christmas tree. Oh, that's a good thing. Putting that Christmas tree up. What is your name? Katie Deacon. And how old are you, Katie? Eight. What do you like best? Being with my family. Being with the family? I think that's a round of applause there, because that's the most important thing I can think of. What's your name? My name is Heather. Heather what? Heather Sadler. And how old are you? Three. I bet you like candy. Right. What's your favorite candy? Hi, sweetie. Candy canes. Candy canes. That's good. Your name? Joseph. Joseph what? Eden. And how old are you, Joseph? Six. I can't believe it, Joseph. You were so you've grown so fast. What? Last season, Johnston spent most of the year running for his life.